Welcome to another video. This is going to be a cook with me. I'm making beef fajitas in my instant pot today and I'm very excited about it because I love beef fajitas. So I'm going to make it the easiest way possible. I'm not going to be making any seasoning or anything. I'm actually going to be using leftover fajita seasoning from Tesco. So I'll show you exactly what I do. I'm going to start by putting my instant pot onto saute mode. Just let that heat up while I cut my onions. So for my onions, I'm actually going to cut them by hand today. I'm not going to be using my ninja chopper today. What? I'm actually going to be slicing them quite thick because we need them to be quite thick so they don't break down too much in the instant pot. So my instant pot is heated up. I'm going to add a few tablespoons of olive oil. And then I'm going to add my onions to this. And while my onions are cooking, I'm going to chop up some peppers. Now that the onions are slightly soft, I'm going to add in my beef and also some fajita seasoning, all of the rest of what was in here, so half a packet. And then I'm just going to brown the beef so that it's all cooked on the outside. So now that the beef is browned on the outside, I'm going to add my peppers, give that a good stir. And now I'm going to add half a cup of water and then scrape the bottom because all the powder has stuck to the bottom and just make sure everything looks good. There we go. Now that that's all in there, you wanna put the lid on and then you have to pressure cook for 12 minutes. That should be fine. So that's all ready to go. And now I'm gonna start making my salsa and my guacamole. So let's go. So I'm going to start by making my guacamole and I have, I, I hate avocados guys. I just find them so stressful to buy because when you buy one and it comes out gross, this one's perfect. Look how perfect that is. Oh my god, this is so rare. Um, when you buy one and it's not perfect, like this one, it just feels like, why did I buy it? Like, you just regret buying it. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm really happy about the fact that these are nice. So I'm just going to kind of break it up a little bit in here, just cut it up and just make it as small as I can so I don't have to mash it too much. Because I'm lazy, I really can't be bothered to um, mash this up. I'm going to use my ninja. Yeah. 
I knew I was gonna get it out. You can't stop me from using this thing. <laughs> That tastes perfect, just needs a little bit of salt. Mmm, this is nice. I could eat this whole thing out of here. Mm. I didn't add any chilies to this because I don't like spicy food. I don't like spicy guac because I feel like the avocado is so cool that it doesn't you don't need to ruin it with chilies I know a lot of you will disagree with that but I don't like chilies but if you wanted to you could add some jalapenos you could add some green chili you can add whatever kind of chili you want but for me this is perfect so that is ready now I'm gonna move on to the salsa so I'm not gonna make a lot of salsa I'm just gonna use one and a half tomatoes I used half in the guacamole as well so I'm going to do exactly the same thing I did with the guac and I'm just going to chop everything up roughly and then put it into my ninja. So that's what I'm going to do. So that is my guac and my salsa all done and ready for my fajitas. I'm going to grate some cheese. The instant pot has just finished and I'm going to let all of the steam out and then I'm going to saute it until the sauce thickens up a little bit. So let me show you what it looks like now. Yeah. So the meat is all cooked and it's nice and soft. Oh. So what I'm gonna do now is put some coriander, which I have yeah. cut up in my hand, <laughs> and I'm going to saute it for about five minutes or just until the sauce has thickened up because it's very, very watery still. Yeah. So I'm just gonna give it a stir and just let it simmer while I tidy up the kitchen. This smells so good. So it is all done now. The sauce has thickened up a bit and I've put saute mode off. So now it's all done. I'm gonna put it into a bowl and then enjoy it. So the beef is all done. It's all cooked. I've transferred it to a bowl over here. What I'm gonna do first is get my two wraps. I'm gonna have two. And I'm literally just gonna heat them up on this pan and just turn them around a little bit. Just make sure that they're nice and hot on each side. Get myself a plate. So now that they're nice and hot, I'm going to put everything on, so I'll show you exactly how I do it. And that is my fajitas all done. This is what they look like. I'm literally gonna eat them like tacos and just fold them up like that and just bite them. 
But that is what they look like. Look at them. Don't they look so gorgeous? There's like juice dripping off them. But anyway, I have a little guest with me. Say hello. He's having his apple for dessert. Is that nice? Mm-hmm. Anyway, that is going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're going to make this recipe. It's super easy, super simple. I love to keep my food as simple as possible, if you haven't noticed already. But if you haven't checked out any of my other Cook With Me videos, then I have a whole playlist of recipes, and there's so many that you can choose from. I cook all the time. Well, I don't cook all the time. I cook and I film a lot of it <laughs> so that playlist is under playlists on my channel so if you want to check some more out then go ahead and click on that hey. but I'm gonna end the video now but thank you guys so much for watching please like this video leave a comment below and tell me if you're going to make this and turn on the bell notifications and I will see you in my next video assalamu alaikum bye 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 <laughs>